So what is live and local? Is it the almost 3 million consumers we reach each week on air? Or the over 200,000 people we have in our email database? How about the 1,400 street team events we do each year? Is it our deeper engagement with consumers through social media and the 12,000 tweets and 15,000 posts on Facebook and Twitter to our 150,000 followers? Is it helping activate campaigns for our most valued clients like Duncan's Caught Cold or Jordan's Bedtime Magic? Is it the over 800,000 page views we get each month on our websites? Or how about the 150,000 app downloads? Could it be the 240 concerts we partnered with last year, ranging from Jason Aldean and Paul McCartney to Justin Timberlake and Jay-Z? Or is it signature events like EarthFest with over 100,000 people at the Hat Shell? Or a sold-out country music festival at the Comcast Center? We're redefining the meaning of live and local. It's no longer just how far your signal can go. It's how we at Greater Media Boston interact with our consumers on a blended media strategy throughout the course of the day, week, and year. So what is live and local? It's all of the above. Well, I think it's pretty self-explanatory, live and local. We do the show right here in Boston. We do it live, it's not recorded. It, it's happening real time. Whether you can hear them on the air live or you can go out and see them represented at an event. It's like they had a great one last night at the Hard Rock. You go out there and you're shaking hands. You're like, hey, Laurie, how you doing? Because they listen to me every day. Uh, I love being able to reach out to the listener and to be able to personally interact with them via request line or social media. Facebook, Twitter, we're live, we're local, we're out there, we're able to go to shows and talk about them in real time, meet the listeners one-on-one. -on -one. And by having a human conversing back and forth between Facebook and Twitter to our listeners, we can bring that full circle so they know where we are going to be, they hear us now, they can tie it all together. And you can't do that if you're in another place. So you got to be here because the sun is out or it isn't out. You can relate to people about all kinds of things that are happening in the city. Local is the key, really. I thought that the coolest thing about the street party is that we were right there, historic Fenway, House of Blues. It was all happening right downtown Boston. And the whole event came about as we pre-promoted it, but during the event itself, people were tweeting back and forth to each other. Yeah. And we could see that on our phones, and we could tweet right to them. It's like we're walking back from the stage to the House of Blues. It was really cool. Yeah, we were interviewing all of the artists, and they were immediately being uploaded. So people, if they, they were heading down to the show, or they were at the show, they could actually know that we were doing the interviews there and uh, check them out. Social media interaction to me is huge. I mean, between the 40-something thousand followers of Facebook and Twitter that I have, it allows me to be able to connect with people during my show and do live conversations with them as my show is going on. And it's sort of like I can engage with them to sort of have polls about some of the topics that I might be discussing. It's, it's just an easier and faster way to be able to communicate to the people who are listening to me. One of the cool things we have at our disposal is our video team and being able to do webcasts. Stay tuned, we've got this amazing, you know, Cage the Elephant or some other really great band will come in. And say, hey, you know, Fits in the Tantrums will be live in five minutes, a concert at your desk. But we get to do some really cool things with bands. So for example, Switchfoot, they came in and we did an F1 Racing Boston, which is go-karts and racing with the band. Who does that, right? Recently, we've done painting with Group Love, where they came into our studio and painted with band, uh, fans. You know, you got to know the band that way. So we're connecting our listeners and our fans with their favorite bands. It's a money can't buy experience. Well, our show, The Lorne and Wally Morning Show, is more like an ensemble. We have like five or six different characters on the show, and uh, we all kind of sit around the breakfast table and have a conversation, and the people who are listening are invited to join in the conversation. And that way, we just have fun like we're sitting right there in your own kitchen. It's like a family. Yeah. Remember the TV show Cheers? Everybody that watched that show would have a favorite character that would come into the bar and sit up and chat away with everyone. And it just brings everybody into the family and I think it really does work. Hey, we just all have breakfast together and have a good time. <laughs>